world, we are servants of God. Let us follow the path that our master has trod. With the power of his counsel and strength to renew, let us do with our minds what our hands finds to do. So shall have a brief period of scripture reading. Revelation 13. Revelation 13. And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, 
and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints, and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six revelation fourteen and i looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him an hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the firstfruits unto God and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of God. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God, and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven and earth, and the sea and the fountains of waters. And there followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up for ever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. And I looked, and behold a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, Thrust in thy sickle, and reap, for the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. 
And another angel came out of the temple which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle. And another angel came out from the altar which had power over fire and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in thy sharp sickle and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. And the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress was trodden without the city, and blood came out of the winepress even unto the horse bridles by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. May God help us to be doers of the word. Amen. Your healing is sure. Amen. Your salvation is sure. Amen. I wonder what you might come here with. The Lord will deliver you in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's time for us to worship the name of the Lord. Rise to your feet. I should give him all the glory. I should give him all the thanks. Give him all the praise. He's the Alpha and Omega. Give him all the glory. He deserves it all. He's the God of full redemption. Your redemption is here tonight. Give him all the praise. He's exalted forever. Give him glory. Give him praise. You got times. And seas and send your rain.
myself should become a cast away. You can read that up in First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27. And then in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, you cannot say this if you are not real. In Galatians chapter 2, and in verse 20, say, I am, not I was, I am presently crucified with Christ. 
Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Now, how can a believer overcome loss? Somebody from this side, please. How can a believer overcome? The reign of blessing, of miracle, in the whole of the nation, Nigeria, in every city, every town, the reign of miracles will fall in Jesus' name. The Global Crusade with Kumi, GCK, led by Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi, has carried God's saving gospel and the wonder-working power from city to city, nation to nation. We have witnessed profound miracles as blind people see, those who are deaf hear, the lame walk, and the dead are raised to life. This month, from the great Oshobu city, Oshun State, Southwest Nigeria, experience the miracle power of God firsthand at the August edition of the Global Crusade with Kumi, themed Jesus, the Miracle Worker. From August 24th, to 29th, 2023. The crusade we hold at the Government Technical College in Oshogo at 1600 hours GMT daily and a global worship service at 0700 hours GMT on Sunday. You turn this side, miracle. You move on here, miracle. You turn the other side, miracle. Anywhere you are in the arena, anywhere you are far away there, as we pray and mention the name of Jesus, wonders will come to you in Jesus' name. It's a special divine touch for ministers, church workers, and professionals at their exclusive conference with Dr. Kumi, the End Time Army for Latter-day Exports at the Woke Diff Event Center, Ring Road, Oshobo. Teenagers, campus students, and young adults are in for a life-changing encounter with the power of God in the Impact Academy with Pastor W.F. Kumi themed Reigning with Christ on Saturday, August 26th at 0600 hours GMT. From every corner of the world, the global audience gathers in one accord connected to God's word and power through satellite, radio, TV, and the GCK social media platforms. In all the countries of Africa, in all the cities everywhere, America, Asia, those who are online, you are in your home there, pay attention, you will see the miracle there. Be enthralled by a symphony of heavenly melodies as talented musicians and choirs lift their voices in uplifting praise. Special souls tearing worship will be led by world renowned worship leader Corey Verse. Every you will be broken, all the powers of the evil one will be destroyed. Bam! Miracle will come upon you. Experience power, experience Jesus, the miracle worker. Australia, get ready because you have received already. Let's listen to the first testimony. Praise the Lord. The mama standing by my side here is uh, Angelina Obogo. Obogo. She has been having pains on her lower legs for three months. In fact, she came into this program with the aid of a walking stick. But after the prayer of the man of God in these showers of blessing crusade, she received her killing, and she had dropped the walking stick. She could walk on her own now. So let's hear from her. Praise the Lord. Um, 
Ya Praise the Lord. The mama beside me here is testifying of what the Lord has done for her. She's been bound for about three months and uh, she couldn't walk. She says she was bowed so much that she staggers and she bends while she's walking. And the problem was so much that she cannot walk alone. She was using a stick, walking stick. But when she came here, the Lord lifted her up. And you can see she can walk now. Mama, stand up properly and demonstrate. You can go now. The camera will pick you. God, God bless you. Praise the Lord. You can see the poor woman, what the Lord has done. She was bent and bowed, but now she's standing erect and God has taken the glory. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. The walking stick is now antiquity. She will not touch it again. Let's listen to the next person. Praise the Lord. The sister standing by my side is Elizabeth Sadiq. She has been having tremor since 
2020. That is shaking. Our body will just be vibrating. So, but as she attended the Divine Solution Crusade, after the prayer of the man of God, she received a healing, and that shaking stopped. Let's hear from her. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Elizabeth Sadiq. I came from, my district is Rumeherese 1, in Odani group, Woji Old group, Portacot, River State, Nigeria. I want to testify of the goodness of God in my life. I'm here to appreciate what God has done for me. It happened to me in the year 2000 that I first sick, I went to the clinic for treatment. The doctor gave me the injection. After the injection, my body was tied together. The next day, reaching the afternoon, my, the whole system of the body was shaking. It continued that they took me to another hospital where I stayed for one week. After I was discharged from the hospital, the shaking continued. But all series of tests I have done, I went to the scan. At last, the doctor that treated me told me that. I said, what type of sickness is this? What should I do? The doctor said, my sister, you cannot do anything. Just remove your mind from this problem. Live as if one day the Lord will visit you. And I thank God because by the grace of God and divine solution, the Lord visited me. If you see me, you will not know what I'm passing through. My sisters and my brothers have passed through it. But by the grace of God in this divine solution, my pastor said we are going to do usher. What came to my mind is that how will I usher in this condition? But I obey. And I stand there that day as an usher. From first day, second day, third day. As the man of God was praying that first day. I am believing strongly that God will do something from, for my life. By the grace of God, before the crusade runs out, I could not see it again. The sickness has disappeared. And I believe God. I just want to appreciate God. Daddy, God bless you. The Lord has used you to deliver me, to heal me. And I'm believing God here, if you are here. Whatever you are passing through, well, how long it is, what God cannot do, it cannot exist. And the Lord that did for me will do for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus. Can you see her? Is there anything shaking again? All that is shakeable, the power of God has shaken them off. The same thing in your life God is going to do. God has done already. Only come out and give your testimony. We switch over to other locations as well as social media before we continue. wonders happening on the social media what God cannot do does not exist what you see right now on your screens is the picture of a man who has suffered from stroke for many years he is Monsuru Okono he attended the crusade 
at our Bagada Yoruba Church. And the stroke that had been with him since 2013 disappeared after the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. You can see him now. He is walking. He is walking. And there is joy everywhere. Next, we take you to Edo State, Bini City, Nigeria. Edo State, South South, Bini City. We go to Edo Live. Today, I thank God. My name is Johnson Obi. I'm of uh, Delta State of uh, Nigeria. One day, I was going to farm. I go to the farm. As I was coming back, I said, make a visit uh, one of my friends. Get into the place. He was telling me gospel. He said everything. He said we have a, a branch on our side, Abiko. I said, okay, this is so. And I, as I just come from farm, I will go together with my materials to the crusade to know what is happening. So when I got there, they were preaching. That they was preaching the word of God. So I, I sat down, listening. So after how much, I see say, since we are moving head down, up, down, all the time. So I noticed this. I invite a pastor. The pastor, come on, come and see what is happening. He said, make I hold on, make I bear on. So after some time, then I, tell, I, I went to him, I spoke to him. It's okay, I should come and tell the public how I'm seeing it. So I, I went there to give a testimony. So as far as the thing continue like that, to the, the body pain, waist pain, start to release me. And ever before then, I have been buying drugs to make sure the pain go and it doesn't go. So today, I am here, I'm born again, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. This is Sukho Mary, I'm born again. I'm from Gorosi Group, in East City. I want to thank God for the, what the Lord did for me in the last days. I had five for a very long time, and after not too long, a month before the program, I noticed that I was having um, blood drop from my body. So after the program, on that very day, Pastor said we should place our hand on where we had the problem. I placed my hand on where I had my problem. After the program, everything vanished away. I pray the grace of God and find an okay. Praise the Lord! Children of God, praise the Lord! My name is Sister Blessing Imangwe, and standing beside me is my son, Prince Imangwe. So we are from Gorati Group of District, Beneath City, Edo State, Nigeria. Praise the Lord! I want to appreciate God for what he did on behalf of my son. For more than five years now, he has been having inching in his eyes. And when the problem starts, he will start inching the eyes and water will start coming out from the eyes. So I've used so many drugs on him, eyes, drugs, and drugs, and the problem persisted. So during the signs and wonders to say, I told him that he should have faith. He should believe in God, that God will solve his problem. We went for the program, the first day of the program. When we got to the program, I told him, I said, when it's time for prayer, don't forget to place your hand on your eyes and believe God that God will heal you. So when pastor asked us to place our hand where we have challenges, he put his hand in his eye. 
and pastor prayed. After the prayer team, now the pain has gone. So pray, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When and the last day, man, all the pain vanished away. Praise the Lord. My name is Ruth Sally. By God's grace, I'm saved. Before the program started, I was so sick. Then, when I'm sick, and I thank God that the Lord has healed me. And before this program has started again, the uh, day before yesterday, I, when I'm coming to, to the program, I told God that, God, this is my prayer request, and you have to do all this thing for me. And all my body was scratching me after this, after this day, the sickness has vanished. Then all my body was scratching me to the, to the, from the uh, fly, fly, from my head to toes. Everywhere was scratching me. So when I came, after the prayer of the man of God, I believe vanish. Praise the Lord. the Lord. My name is Justina Mandela. I'm from Goroti Group, uh, Bini City, uh, those states. I want to thank God for what God did for me last month's crusade at uh, Abu Divine Solution. I want to thank God because God did very wonderful thing for me. Before the program, about two weeks before the program, I have pain on my right leg. The big toe was paining me. And it depend, uh, if I press the place, the pain will increase. But in it, the, the, the program, when our daddy said we should place our hand in where, uh, wherever we are challenged, and I place my uh, and I have, I have other challenges, so I tell it to God, and I place one hand on my head, and I raise up the other hand. After the prayer, I believe that God has already healed me, and the place was still paining me. But after the program, by the grace of God, one of the days, I just see that the pain uh, the pain has vanished away, and I press the place, press to know whether the pain is still there. There is no more pain. The pain is out uh, the Praise the Lord! And now we'll take you to Pakistan, where great wonders are also happening. And I have to tell you this, that as the flight of the showers landed in Pakistan, it visited Sister Nusrat, who had this problem in the eye, and the doctor said she had the spot in her eye, and she would have to go for surgery. But then, there is something that is still very special about her final amen. Upon the final amen, after the prayer of the man of God, her eye completely got healed, and she can now see everything clearly. Praise the Lord. Mercy, Arka, and invitee testified that before the final prayer for miracles and deliverance by the general superintendent, she suddenly remembered her past life and all the wrongs and sins she had committed. She said, she wrote, I felt a touch of cold on my body and started weeping. Before then, I came to the program with eye issues. I was unable to see well. I felt something was covering my eye and pain was unbearable. But after the prayer of the man of God, she wiped her tears and she became completely free. Her eyes are opened and can see bright and clear. Praise the Lord. And now we'll take you to India where great wonders are also happening. Let's take you to India now. India. Praise the Lord. I'm Pastor Manish Amru, DLBC, Maharashtra, India. On August 3rd, 2021, when I was traveling in village for municipal purpose, I was not driving that time. I'm sitting in back as we are going to stop to side of the road during this journey. Our bike slipped on the road. 
as I was sitting in back, I fell down on my pelvic bone. There was no injury on that accident, but the uh, it hits near me to pelvic bone. For some reason, I could not go to hospital for treatment. There was pain for two to three weeks. On that same uh, month of August last week, we had a divine touch global crusade. On the last day of the crusade, while I was translating pastor live in Marathi, as the pastor told, you raise your one hand. I raised my one hand, placed my another hand on the, that spot and pray for myself with faith. My pain immediately stopped before the last amen. And now no longer pain I feel yet. So glory to God. We now return to the overseer. There are more testimonies on social media when we return. Back to you, sir. Clap your hands for Jesus. Blessed are your ears for what they hear and your eyes for what they see. We now take the next testimony. Praise the Lord. The boy by my side is by name Favor Lossi. He has been having swelling of, uh, of his right scrutum, that is right epidemic ochitis. And his mother had been trying to treat locally, but the pain was so severe. But as he came for the showers of Blessed Crusade, Yesterday, as the servant of God prayed and he laid his hand, the pain disappeared.